In this video, we're going to look at calibrating the ESC when you've got it in a wing or a plane that's running INAP through a flight controller. The problem with the old method where you would increase your throttle on the radio with the flight or the aircraft not plugged in, then you plug in your battery, the ESC would get the full throttle signal, beep at you saying, okay, I'm good, and you lower it back down, and then the ESC would be calibrated doesn't work because with iNav it, the signal won't be sent to the ESC until it's armed and if you tried to power your radio on with it uh, powering the aircraft up with the radio full throttle it's not going to let you arm and the arm takes a bit so by the time the arms normally the ESC has already done its boot process so what we have to do is go in we'll um, hook the plane up to iNav go in the motors tab and send the high signal to the ESC um, manually that way then plug the battery in to power the ESC so it gets it wait for the proper tones then lower the tab the motor tab back down and the ESC will then be calibrated so we'll go ahead and start um, we'll get the access to our flight controller the other thing while we're doing this any work with ESC and power motor spin in no good <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take this prop off Okay, so now that we've got that, I'm going to go ahead, plug our flight controller. This is an Omnibus F4 Pro flight controller. I just have a little adapter here to help with the strain on the USB. So I'm going to go in the configurator, in the configuration tab, and you can see this is multi-shot. It's a BL Heli ESC, um, quad ESC in here, so it can run the multi-shot protocol. If you're running an older uh, PWM style ESC, then you would want to select standard here. <clears throat> but we're going to stick with the multi-shot because it's a little bit uh, quicker refresh rate and just a better protocol. And since we can run it, we will. So like I said, we're going to go to the motors tab, make sure our prop is off. We're going to click the little box, I understand the risk, and the props are removed and enable motor control. We're going to slide the motor or master controller to full. So we've got 2,000 or 100% throttle signal being sent to the ESC from the flight controller right now. At this point, we're going to plug in a battery. This I have a little adapter, uh, just made up two XT60s and a switch in the middle, just good for when you're doing this little bench work. Um, can easily turn it on and uh, instead of having to worry about this, plugging it in. So there's the tones for full signal, it's waiting. And then after you give it 1,000 or 0% throttle, it then goes through its cycle of uh, processing that and all the tones until you get the normal startup tone. So at this point, our throttle is ready to go and will spin for us. So that's easy. That's all you got to do. Um, again, it's just a matter of with the arm state on iNav, you have to go through and manually send the signal before you power the battery up. So hope that was helpful. Uh, any comments or questions, please leave them below. And if you liked it, please like and subscribe. I'll try and uh, do some more content like this. Hopefully help people out there uh, try and get their planes in the air. Have a good day.